you know what? I don't want to write today. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. You know what? I don't want to write today. I'm in no mood whatsoever to put together a podcast. You'd think I'd be eager to put on an episode after being sick and missing last week, but I'm not. In fact, I haven't felt like writing all week. Now, I don't know what's causing this mood. Maybe my blood sugar's off. It's happened before. Maybe it's the weather. Maybe it's because I've been so busy writing code at work. I just don't feel I want to put my creative energy into writing. And as someone who aspires to be a better writer, this is a problem. <laughs> now, there's a great motivational poster you can print out. I have actually have it pinned in my office wall. It's the 10 Steps to Becoming a Better Writer. All 10 steps are spot on and will benefit you greatly in your writing. As a programmer... I tend to uh, simplify things down to improve efficiency and whatnot. So I've distilled these 10 steps down to two. And in my own type of code fashion, this is what I've come up with. Step one, write something. Step two, repeat step one. <laughs> so for the last week, I've been doing something I really didn't want to do. Write. Every morning before I finished my first cup of coffee at the office, I wrote something. Now, these were short posts to my Google Plus page, like uh, how I felt that morning, what's been going on, what's today's schedule, and whatever came to mind. Definitely not masterpieces of prose, to say the least, but I did get something written. And that's what you got to do to become a better writer. Write. <laughs> And that brings us to this episode of the Blog Oklahoma podcast. Here it is Sunday afternoon, and I don't want to work on this. I'd rather be downstairs in front of the TV watching some baseball, football, or a movie. But if I put off an episode today, what's to prevent me from putting off an episode next week? Or the week after that? Nothing, really. I don't have to do this. <laughs> but how will putting it off help me become a better writer or to improve my recording skills. How will that help me work on this podcast hobby that I actually do enjoy? Well, it doesn't. So I turned off the TV, came upstairs to the home office, put on a Spotify playlist on repeat, fired up the laptop, and started typing. And what did I write about? Not wanting to write. And you know what? I just finished an episode. Last Thursday was Spirit Day. It was a day where people went purple all over social media to show their support for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgendered youth by taking a stand against bullying. I was going to bring this up last week, but as you know, I missed the episode due to illness, but uh, the sentiment is something I didn't want to skip over. Bullying sucks. On Thursday, I typed up a really long, profane screed on my experiences in high school with my bullies and why I will never return there. But you know what? I deleted it. Honestly, it was good to get it out even after 29 years. But you know what? It really wasn't important. My bullies are not important. In fact, I wish them well. I hope they're living a good life somewhere. I will never see them again. <laughs> now, what is important is we give support to those being bullied right now. To them, I'd like to say, it really does get better. I know I'm just some guy on a podcast you've never met, but I honestly, as someone who has been bullied, let me tell you, it does get better. I know it doesn't seem like it now, but it will. You shouldn't be bullied. No one should. To stand up to your bullies, just ask for help. If you're at school, tell your teacher. Go to a counselor. Tell your principal. 
let your parents know you're being bullied. Still need help? Reach out to the community. Organizations like GLAD and The Trevor Project are here for you. If you're being bullied online, report and block. There are tools available just to do that. I'll have a link to all those in the show notes. So, even beyond the one day we all went purple to show our support, the sentiment remains. We stand against bullying. Did you know the Blog Oklahoma podcast has its own cafe press store? So if you'd like a coffee mug, t-shirt, or a tote bag with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on it, please head on over to cafepress.com slash Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'll also have a link to it at blogoklahoma.net. I'm happy to announce, as of October 17th, 2015, Blog Oklahoma has 890 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus materials from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.